Hey guys, dry shaft Drew here. How y'all doing today? Anyway, me and Curtis decided to take Proxy for a walk down by the river here. And I was I got to the river, I decided, hey, I'm also do a quick little film here and show you guys how low the river is right now. It's like totally amazing. Like you can see everything. <laughs> There's hardly nothing in here, man. Remember this culvert in the wintertime was right up to the tip? Look at it now. You literally got two feet underneath the culvert. That's how low the ground is. And you can see that there's not a whole lot of anything in the river here. Proxy can't go swimming. This is ready to pull out the moose, so I'm sure he can pull her out. Yeah, that one will, yeah. But anyway, size, there's the river. We just walked down to the river just to check it all out. Be good crayfishing right now, though. At <laughs> this time of year. The water's so low. On your ass on there. That is very sharp, that is. You can see quite a few tracks around by the river here, too, so... Looks like a couple of deer have been through here. <laughs> or dogs. No, that's deer tracks there. Most likely. Yeah, but and probably a few dogs too, but mostly deer. A little birdie. I see deer or dog tracks all around that. More dogs than deer. There's a little birdie for you guys. Oh, where do you go? Well, he's right there. There he is. I'll zoom in a bit. Oops. Or try to. There you go. He's gone. <laughs> hey, we'll zoom back out. I figured I'd show you guys the bird too. So, anyways, I guess Curtis is ready to head back up. So we're gonna head back up, guys. Try to get some of this booth. Oh. <laughs> you can see by the trees here; it's beautiful right now. So, beautiful day today. Late evening, sun's just going down. And we decided just to take a quick walk down to the river here, guys. So, anyways, I guess we'll call this a clip. And we'll add it to one of our videos somewhere along the line. So, Curtis is just taking some pictures of her. Yeah, I'm about two months behind on videos. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little bit behind. You haven't put one up for a while. Yeah. So, and if you look at Curtis, you guys can see he actually lost weight, too. Oh, no, I put on weight. What are you talking about? No, uh, you lost some. Last year, this year I've been putting it back on. Oh. I've been too lazy. To <laughs> well, I'm doing good on my diet, so that's what counts. Right, Proxy? You know, I go down that way. I guess we can go on that path. Oh, yeah, that's the way I was going to go. I was going to walk this the whole way, all the way down, but it looks like the top stops again. Yeah. I will do a little bit more of a film here and give these guys a little view over our pathways. Yeah, we'll do it. I know it's pretty steep. We do it in the winter, we can do it in the summer. Oh, that one there, yeah, that one's pretty rough. You don't want to? Nah. No? Uh, well, I guess we can. Go for a wall. It's just says it's a rough terrain, people. <laughs> this one's a small little path that nobody really takes that much, so we do it, but nice to have country in the city I'll tell you so there you guys go you can see around the curve there in the water so yeah stick your hand right in my way wait till you're done and then I'll do my stuff now but and look here this is why I'm telling you to stop look big hole oh okay so yeah it's a little bit dangerous taking this path yeah well you don't but, have to do it no we're not going to you're, oh I hear gooses we can go up right here so Oh, there they are. Okay, well, hurry up so I can do mine, Dad. Okay, guys, we're going to call it quits because Curtis is bitching and complaining like a little schoolgirl. So. Well, I told you what I'm doing. So we'll stop it from there. If you want to follow, you follow. Well, boys, I made it up to the fishing spot. I just got here 20 minutes ago, and it's starting to rain. is isn't that bigger. But it is what it is. We'll stay here for a little while and just see what happens and see if we have any luck. So we'll talk to you all in a bit. Well guys, I've been out here about half an hour now, and I never got any uh, bites at all. Wife just sent me a message and asked me how the fish was going, how the fishing going. <laughs> I have to tell her no luck yet, she'll probably tell me to come home. But the rain stopped, and the sun come out, but you guys can see here, beautiful area to fish. And uh, yeah, nice and peaceful here today. So, so far no luck. Uh, the gentleman beside me got a couple gold eye earlier, but 
that was before I got here so anyway so far no luck wish me luck I'm gonna keep fishing so I just thought I'd show you guys the view again so beautiful quiet area nice place to relax well guys it looks like I'm not having any luck here at all today so I've been here a couple hours and never even got a nibble so I think I'm gonna call it a day so from sunny Manitoba we'll talk to you all later bye hey guys dry shaft Drew here all y'all doing today anyways I started the project here I was telling you about the deck and stuff like that and I came to a standstill so I figured I'm also show you guys this I got rid of the old deck put the temporary step there for now and a couple of temporary stones just to go back and forth from the house to the garage but uh, we decided what I'm gonna do is bring my patio probably say to about where this one is here that pole and across to the house with the patio and then probably to about center of the planter box but the those those type of stones here that i got saved up and uh that's what my thing is and then i'm going to build the deck well what happens is why i came to a standstill for one i don't have the gravel or sand yet i got to get that and i can't get that till tuesday now and unfortunately i got a long weekend to do this and i can't do it because i need the sand to do it but that's not what stopped me what stopped me is when i look at this planter box now i realized i threw this planter box in here and i should have measured from here to here like from the house to here and from this corner to the garage because what happens when i like now that i'm looking at it this corner here is two and a half inches too far this way versus that corner so if i go to put patio stones which are square i'm going to have a big gap along the patio stones so this box basically has to come over two and a half inches so everybody goes well that's not a big deal just move the box well there is a half ton load of dirt in that box so this box probably weighs about 2500 pounds so to move it i'm gonna to have to peel out what's left of my garden empty out all the dirt from the box which ain't the problem because all the dirt from the box i can throw here because i have a low spot here in front of the shed so i can clean all this area up i could throw all the dirt in there and then i just to move the box two and a half inches i gotta empty it out well i mean i don't want to empty it yet i mean look at my nice big tomatoes coming up by the way so i don't want to empty it out until all everything's done so i'm sort of at a standstill for this weekend anyway I guess I, I really don't want to empty the box today. I, it's just, I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I still got tomatoes and stuff growing. I'd like to see what, what happens with the garden here. But uh, that, and also that the back corner of the box is low, so I got to raise the back corner up because right now that corner is low on the box. And you know what? I never thought of it when I built the box. I just wanted to get the garden in. I just threw the box there and filled it full of dirt. I should have leveled it out and I should have squared it. So rookie mistake. So now it's it's sort of haunting me because I, I don't want to build my deck till I move that box because otherwise my deck will be crooked by two and a half inches. So I can't build my deck. I can't put down my patio until I do something with this box. And also I got to get gravel in here or sand or whatever to level this all out properly. We tried leveling it, uh, Curtis leveled last night with the tractor. That's why that big pile of dirt here. I could level with the little bit of stuff I got here, but that's garbage. So I got to level this all, this whole area out properly. And if you look now, you can see that the box is down in that corner. So I got to raise that box, level that box, level all that out before I can put in my patio. I got to have my patio in before I can build my deck. Because otherwise my deck will be crooked. So to get everything nice and straight, it's going to take some time here, guys. So I'm at a standstill. And I don't have a video for this week, so this is going to have to suffice. <laughs> I've been busy. Like I say, the old deck is sitting right there in the trailer. i got to make a load to the dump yard, clean that out. I, I keep getting more stuff to move around all the time. So every time I try and do something, i got to move other stuff around. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. And that's the best update I can give you guys for now. So I just thought I'd do that for you. So I love you all, my YouTube family. And until the next one, from Dry Shaft Drew, 
Hope this will suffice for you guys. Talk to you all later. Bye.